you would join us. Hey folks, another Skeleton Crew Black Series figure. We're going back to number five. We just looked at Brutus. We're going with KB. The other new characters, one of the children from the Skeleton Crew. Again, at the time of recording this. We're still a couple of weeks out from the show debuting on Disney+. Plus. Um, so yeah, the, it looks like At Atten in the brackets is possibly the planet where they're from, where they first take where their adventure first takes off. We'll see. We'll see. And there's a picture of KB on the side for the mural. That is number five. Let's look at the figure in the box. We'll bust this one open straight away and have a look. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. All right, folks, first up, we have KB here out of the packaging. She's looking pretty damn cool. Um, yeah, it feels like these kids are all going to have their sort of individual attributes. Um, I don't know. I just, without knowing much at all, I feel like just with the outfit she's wearing, um, you know, she's got this little utility belt. She's got the, the sort of the eye cyclopsy looking eyepiece. I, I kind of feel like she's going to be the sort of the sort of mechanically minded um, young young kid of the group. Um, she looks particularly cool. I uh, like the accessories these guys are coming with. So being that they're on an adventure, going exploring, they've got to come with a torch. Not the first time we've seen torches in Star Wars. We've seen the one, the first one that comes to mind is Poe Dameron in the cave. When he lights it up after Ray lights her lightsaber and it's just a little bit of a, a quick funny moment. So there are torches in Star Wars. And of course, the Mandalorians and the clones have little torches attached to their helmets at times too. So it's not out of the realm of Star Wars whatsoever. Next is her backpack, which is a cool accessory. There's a nice little spot in there for her torch. A little slot in there. So that's cool. Nice functioning backpack. So of course, these kids have backpacks. They've got... They've got the Star Wars up, you know, they've got the different lines and, and stuff like that, but still feels still feels very real world and sort of relatable to young kids that might be watching this show. You know, they, they can strap on the backpacks and go and have adventures of their own. I really hope this show does inspire a lot of a long of a lot of younger generation of Star Wars fans. I think that's gonna be very, very important. Um yeah, we'll get the backpack on KB shortly, but let's take a look at the figure. You know, I like the uh, the sort of asymmetrical bob-looking haircut. I think that's really cool. Coming around the back, very, almost very sort of sci-fi unique sort of look. Whether that's, whether the uh, eye thing here is something she needs. Um, I believe we've seen some footage of her with that sort of off or up. Um, but one thing I was interested in from the get-go is... Her eyes are unpainted, but the sculpt's there, so it's all it's all an individual piece. So whether or not we see another version of KB at some point and maybe a different outfit without the uh without the Cyclops eyepiece, I have no idea what to call this sunglasses. <laughs> I've got no idea. Um I don't know, I'd I'm, I'm interested. I'm I hope Hasbro pushed past more than one wave of figures and uh have some more in the pipeline. Um you know, Skeleton Crew was meant to air almost a year ago, so Hasbro has been sitting on these figures for a little while, I'd assume. But yeah, in terms of the outfit, it's pretty sort of simple jumpsuit. Um, I'd like to see if someone is able to do something with this to create uh, like an Ahsoka mechanic or something like that from the Clone Wars, where she goes and hangs out with the, with the twins. Or the sisters. That'd be cool to see. But obviously the very sort of Star Wars with the patches. Little tools in the top pocket there. These extra little devices on the belt. And the sort of yellowy orange gloves, which yeah, leads me to believe that she sort of works with her hands and and stuff like that. Nicely sculpted. 
not a lot of extra paint detail throughout the jumpsuit, but that's fine. Nice set of boots. Brown pouch on the back there. Yeah, I think along the same lines of uh, Shinhati, there's sort of just a slight little lack of, of colour, a little bit of depth in the hair just to give it a little bit more life. Um, obviously there's a slightly brighter streak down the front there, you can kind of just see it. Yeah, I dig the I dig the hair. I think it looks cool. Definitely fits in Star Wars for me. Um, let's put the backpack on and see how that looks. So it's nice and easy to put on. We might give her the torch, given that there's no other real accessories. So that's cool. I think it looks good. I think it's a it's a cool addition. It's uh, it'll be nice to you know have all of the all of the kids from the get go in the collection. Articulation wise, she's got the uh, ball joint in the top of the neck, one in the bottom of the neck too. Ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows. I think she might have the ball and socket wrists as well. Can't see any obvious joints in there. So yeah, I'm going to say that the the, uh, the little sort of ball and socket joints. There's no obvious hinges in there that I can see. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. That sort of new pop-in hinge. Got the torso joint there around the belt, which looks good. Ball, ball and socket in the hips, swivels at the thighs, ball hinges at the knees, ball hinges at the ankles, and that rocker in the foot to get those uh, power stances, action poses happening. And uh, yeah, last but not least, we'll do a peg test with the uh, KR stand and uh, bang that on there. Boom, there we go. And there is a KB. Interesting looking figure, cool looking character. I'm excited to uh, see how she comes about in uh, in Skeleton Crew in just a couple of weeks. So thank you very much for watching. Drop a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, give the video a thumbs up. And next up we'll be taking a look at Fern. This is number four, counting back down to number one. Till then, may the force be with you always. Thank <laughs> you.